Deer in the Woods Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your thumb, index, and ring nails light pink and your middle and pinky nails with a light pink French tip. So then on your ring and thumbnail with dark brown we're going to start and I'm just going to paint a line going across just from like the one corner down through the other corner. This is going to be a tree branch or trunk area and I'm going to be painting just the basic shape of my deer. So I'm going to start with a rounded area for his head and then it kind of slopes down on the one side and then uh, curves across until it hits the edge of your nail on the other side for his back. And then fill that in. And then add ears. And the ears are like leaf shapes or petal shapes if you got pointed petals. And lastly, add his antlers. So now I'm going to be adding some highlights to my deer with a lighter brown. So I'm going to first just go over where his face is. And his face is not as wide as the base shape that we painted with the darker brown. Um, that's part of his neck as well. So his face is more of an egg shape, an upside down egg shape, but nonetheless. And then also highlight part of his back. So now I'm going to be adding some shadows with black. So I'm going to do the inside of his ears and then down around his chin and the other side of his body. And then I'm going to add his little black nose and his eyes. So now I'm going to be adding some more uh, white fur, it turns out as a war I guess, anyway some white fur around his ears and then around on his chest and then around his eyes and his nose. As you're painting the white fur especially on his chest you're going to want to use a whole bunch of short little lines almost a dabbing motion then around his nose and his eyes. This is going to keep your lines from looking too smooth because fur is not smooth in case, and you know, it's not. And so you want to make sure that it almost has a rough looking texture and that's going to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then add just a few little highlights down his nose. That's going to make him a little bit more dimensional. So now I'm going to go over that trunk of our tree so it looks like it's in front of his body. And then I'm also just going to add a couple little more details on his face with that darker brown. So then with an auburn color or sort of a burnt orange, we're going to be painting leaves on our tree. And you could paint them any color you want. You could paint them green if you want, or you could you know, any color. Uh, red would look good, brown. And then um, low light your leaves. I'm using dark brown with my orange. If you're doing uh, green leaves, then you'd want to use green paint, darker green to do the low light. So then I'm going to be highlighting my leaves with gold. I think this is a pretty good color to highlight your leaves no matter what color they were before, the base color. So I'm going to be low lighting the antlers and the branches with black and I want the trunk of the tree to look like it's in front of our deer and the deer's antlers to be in front of the branch. So it looks like he's sort of around the tree or within the tree. So then highlight um, the antlers with white paint. So just a very thin little white line. On your pointer nail, we're going to begin by painting tree trunks, just going up the nail. So a whole bunch of thick, fairly thick brown lines that don't quite go all the way up to your cuticle. And then add branches, so just little lines coming off those first original ones that you made. And these do not have to be perfect because we are going to be adding leaves to them and so you won't see them all of that much. Um, low light one side of each tree trunk and branch. And now I'm just going to be dabbing on some more of that auburn or burnt orange paint. I'm not going to be covering up that area on top completely. I'm just going to, just like I said, using a dabbing motion and sort of just applying it here and there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gold using that same method. On your middle and pinky, we're going to start by outlining the French tip. So just with brown paint, go along your French tip line and then add some little like flicks of your wrist, flicks of paint coming off, going in one direction, keep it all going in the same direction. So then add a leaf to the end of each of those little flicks of paint 
and your leaves start out with one straight line and then add a couple little lines coming off it so it looks like an oak leaf and has that wonderful uh, rough shape. So then highlight the leaves with gold. And low light them with brown. So you're going to highlight on one side of the leaf and low light on the other side. That way it has a lot of dimension to it. So then low light the branches and the outline with black. And of course add a layer of top coat. And adding the layer of top coat over the deer is really going to help blend those colors and make them look a lot more smooth and realistic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye!